everybody, welcome to another episode of Frostgrave. I'm here with JP, and we are gonna throw down his first game ever of Frostgrave. So you have seen um, our initial first games of Frostgrave in the Ascension to Power. You've seen the Thought of the Lich Lord campaign games, and now you're gonna be seeing um, sort of a resetting a little bit. This is probably one of our last 2016 games um, for Frostgrave, so uh, I'll be using Telebrand the Enchanter. He's my lower level dude, uh, and this will be a little bit more soft probably than bringing Hrothgar as your starting game where he's like level 20, and he just does whatever he wants with magic basically. So let's take a look at the Warbands. We're gonna play a standard mission because it's your first game, and this way you can just pick up treasure and learn the ropes, and we'll get started. Romancing Warband that JP's brought in. He's got a zombie to one side. She can get summoned at some point. And then what else do we have? We have uh, a thief, a thief, a thug, crossbow, archer, uh, infantryman, and uh, man at arms. Man at arms. Right. And then my apprentice is uh, Phineas Bog. And my wizard is Makoto Kono. And they're both Chronomancers. Yes. Very cool. So now these are um, the official actual Frostgrave Chronomancer miniatures. And this is all from the plastic box set. Where's the zombie from? Uh, Zombicide. Zombicide. Very cool. So there we have it. Nice nice use of a modern zombie too. She worked perfectly. So we'll have some out of game spells, um, which we'll do. And then we'll get treasure set up and get started. Here's Telebrand's current warbrand. We got Telebrand's uh, Solara, his apprentice, and then we've got a large construct that he's managed to animate, uh, animate rather. Or is it a medium construct? It's a construct. I think it's large, actually. Um, we have a Templar, a thief, a treasure hunter, a knight, a barbarian, a crosswoman, and an archer. So there's all eight warband members. Not nine like I have because I live. I don't live in an inn with this guy. I live in a I think a laboratory. <laughs> so there they are. Um, and that's the current state of my warband. Here's the Frostgrave table all set up. We have all of our terrain appropriately deployed and we'll be playing a standard mission. Now, once again, if you haven't seen our missions before, play on a four by four table. We have uh, our own campaign pack and monster tables that we use for the co-op's open campaign. Um, the things that will be different in the game, 12 inch deployment zones instead of six, which means 15 inch deployment minimum for um, your treasure tokens, and then to get off the board, all you have to do is get within six of any table edge, and that'll allow you to clear it. Now we also have gathering storms. Every game can be played for eight turns, and then store, either the sun goes down or storms get to setting in the city and everyone has to leave. And you can live to fight another day. Uh, the better part of Valor is another special rule which allows warbands who've taken at least 50% casualties in the first phase in which they are eligible to nominate a model to declare an automatic route. They lose before they take any more casualties. They leave the table, and any treasure they're currently carrying, they keep on a six plus, but on a one to five, they drop it in their haste to flee. So we're gonna roll right now for deployment sides, me and JP, and we'll pick sides and get deployed. 13 to five, I'll pick this side because I'm lazy, and I like being over here. Uh, we're gonna deploy treasure, our roar bands, and get started. With uh, the Chronomancer herself on a 10 plus. Nine, so close, and you can't cut it a game, and then you need a 12 for your apprentice to do it. A second chance. No void, we have a thief. Uh, we have Barbarian, Solara, my apprentice, Templar, Treasure Hunter, Knight, Large Construct, Telebrand the Enchanter, uh, my Crossbowman, my Archer, and then we have Treasure, Treasure, Treasure. Uh, cross for me with the Chronomancer Band, we have Treasure, a Treasure, and where's the third one? Uh, I don't see it. Oh, it's over here, under the bridge, living with the troll. Uh, and then we have Archer, Man at Arms, Thug. Uh, he's a got a degree in Thugonomics. Uh, thief, we have the Chronomancer herself. We have the Apprentice over here with a Infantryman, a Thief, and a Cross. For first turn, let's roll off and see who's going first. Who is JP? Uh, JP's going second, so I will activate my Wiz, and he's going to grab the Treasure Hunter, Knight, and Construct. Yeah, it's actually a medium Construct, so it's a medium Construct in the Warband. Good old Telebrand's gonna go up six. He's gonna go six two towards this treasure right here. Construct's gonna go five. Knight's gonna go five. Treasure Hunter's gonna go seven. So six and then one, which will put him on the other side of this guy. I'm gonna chant the sword mm -hmm. on my um, Treasure Hunter. Eight or better, he gets it with a 60. Well, actually, technically what I should've done first, just to make this legal, is I should've moved him two and a half forward so I could see him, because I couldn't actually see that guy yet. Uh, and then I'm gonna move three, sorry, three and a half with my Treasure Hunter up to here. Yeah, might as well get, get moving. Uh, and then Knight is gonna go two and a half. And the second move over to here. Activating. Are you going to group activate anybody? Uh, yes, uh, wizard plus these guys. Okay, so thief, man, arms, and crossbow. So first, you have to do moves. So if you're going to move, you have to do it now. So does it have to be the wizard first? or? No, nope, it can be uh, anybody in the group activation can anybody? move first. Okay. But they have to do their moves before their action in this case. Under. So thief is going to go first? Yep, he's going to run seven. Run seven is going to go, go ahead and... Just move into just space with this. Move in. Basically like this. You probably want to stay as far back as you can while still being within an inch, because that's, remember you have to get it back to your edge. 
So you just want to get to max range, basically, and then pick it up. So Figgy's a six? He does, he goes six, yeah, and you can drop down for free. So, so you can move uh, all the way down to there. Might as well go down as well. Okay, I think you can go five. He's going to stop right there. Six, so it'll cost her one to go up, so she'll be able to move five afterwards, but she can drop down for free. So she might as well just go like this. Yeah, keep everyone within three, that's yeah. probably a good idea. Bubble that up, so she's going to be right Stay here. Stay in the middle. Sounds good. Yep. Thiefy's gonna pick up a treasure. 16 yep. plus, a monster will show up. Wandering monster from our monster table. Let's see what happens. Nope, the Thiefy. Okay. So, other actions can be in any order you want. You can continue moving, cast spells, whatever. Uh, so, trying to resurrect? Raise uh, zombie? Raise zombie. Okay, and that casts on in 10. 10, you said? Yes. Alright, now this one you can cut to do injuries yes. to yourself to try and boost if you want. 10. Gonna go oh, off and place unactivated and base to base with you. There you go. So everybody else? So, uh,. Thug, thuggy Thug Thug is going yeah. to uh, walk it this way. Yep. Yeah. You want to just go up to the max of three. You can go three inches, but if you stay within three, you're a wizard, then you'll get to activate first again. Half. Demand at arms, going to come right. down there. Uh, so it's apprentice time. We're going to activate Solara. She's going to bubble activate with the Barbarian and the Templar. Uh, Templar's going to go. He's going to go five and up just in the corner over here. Barbarian's going to go. Actually, Solara's going to go next. She'll go six. And go hang out over here. And my Barbarian is going to go five, three, and then three, and just hang up beside Solara. That. Templar on a 10 plus now. And we don't, but we will cut for three to do it. So we're going to 10 health. Uh, second skills for everybody else. Uh, Templar is going to move up 2.5 and go hang out closer up here. Barbarian is going to move three and hang out over here. Apprentice phase. Phineas Bog is going to go. Oh, Phineas. Guys. Right Where's here. Ferb? Which one's going to be Ferb? <laughs> if you're a parent, you know my pain. <laughs> so Ferb's moving up. So, um, the, um, the crossbow is going to move up. He's going to move uh, six of them. Or if he's going to move five. Uh, crossbows move six. six. Yep, six for crossbows and archers. It's only the uh, thief and the uh, treasure hunter that moves seven. seven. You got it. And I think the hound as well. Mm -hmm. The dog. So he's going to move six. He's going to move up to the. To the edge there. Yeah, take some cover. Now you could shoot me right now, but you'll be at plus one difficulty. Actually, I get plus one defense, basically plus one fight for you moving and shooting. Yeah. Or you can just wait it out. Thief, thief, thief. He's going to go hang out an inch away from that, so you can pick it up and be as close as possible to the table edge. Infantry man. Infantry man's going to move up. He has to go six, yeah. Take cover behind that. Yeah. Even because, you know, the torch really gives away where he is. It's true, his position's fairly clearly marked by carrying a torch. And the apprentice? And then the... Let's get up there, Phineas. Bog is going to go up right behind, right next to crossbow guy. Yes. Good. Actions. Do you want to pick up the treasure? Yes. All right. See the progs of monster. So. Sixteen plus. Wander monster table. No. no. And we got second actions for your um, chronomancer and uh, your archer. Your crossbow. Going, he's going to give uh, the thief. Uh, actually, he's going to give the uh, infantryman. Infantryman a fleet. Ooh. Twelve. Okay. It's plus two, right? Uh, it's yeah, plus two difficulty. You got twelve 20. plus. Twelve. Run. No. Nope. Uh, you could boost it with seven damage, but you'd be down to three and you'd be wounded. But I lose one. You life. did fail. That's right. You did fail by more than five, so that's going to be a uh, hit point. Infantryman and the uh, crossbow left who can act. What do you want to do? The infantryman. I don't know if he wants to move out of uh, the chronomancer's bubble. Is he happy where he is? You can just stay where he is, or go to maximum three or whatever, or even back up a little bit if you don't want to be in charge range, my dudes. Happy to be in cover. Yes, we, uh, hug and you got over. crossbow time? And crossbow time. So he's going to shoot, uh, I guess, the uh, the barbarian, I guess. Shoot my apprentice. I shoot plus two. I'll be at plus four because he moved. I'm normally plus three. So let's see what we get. I got a 22. Wow. So I just dodge it Neo style. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to do soldier phase. I get to activate a soldier first. My thief is going to move to the maximum of one inch away from this and then pick it up. And then we'll see if a monster shows up on a 16 plus. I'm gonna get eaten by a bear. Nope. No. time. You've got your archer over here, I believe. Yes. He's the only one that's not activated. And he cannot. He... Well, you have your zombie too, sorry. Your zombie can go do oh, stuff. But is he kind of a soldier at the moment? Yeah, or? of course. Oh, wow. He's always a soldier. If it's in your warband, it's a soldier. <laughs> if it's a creature that's not controlled, it's a creature. Ah, okay. Moving with a zombie, you can move through friends, no problem. So Moving six. six. Gonna go head towards that treasure uh, as the ultimate zombie porter. Uh, I suppose he's going to fire uh, and take a shot at your thief. Fight plus one. I'm fight plus two over here on this thing. Uh, did not move. <laughs> no, nothing. The archer's gonna move. He's gonna, be six. He's gonna yep. be six. You got it. Just stand over there behind the whiz. Uh, yeah. My crossbowman. Um, I'm not a third covered because this thing's not quite high enough, so no cover for me. But you did move. So I'm fight plus three right now to your fight plus two. 
I get a three, you get a 16. Uh-oh. Um, so 16 to my armor of 10, I take six damage. Uh, and that means I am down to soldier phase will be my archer. <clears throat> He's gonna move up six to within an inch. Like I'm within six, so just moving up to here. And pick up the treasure. Come on, bear! Let's launch a bear, tactical nuclear bear. No face. So we are on to turn two. Turn one is now over. Moving into turn two, um, and we will. During the end phase, there's nothing to resolve because there's no creatures. Roll for it. The oh, twenty beats of one. <laughs> Pretty sure I couldn't do any better than that. Going first. Um, we are going to group activate with my knight and my construct. Night knight's gonna go. He's gonna go as five. Moving right through the. Dude man guy over here because he can move through friends. I'm a construct, so can also move five. He'll end up next to the knight over here. Telebrand is not going to bother moving. No. He's yeah, no, he's not gonna move. He's just gonna enchant the sword on enchant there. Enchant needs an eight or better. Whoa, fails the one, mm. fails by seven, takes a damage. Yeah, no, all I can do about that. Fate stone. Once per game, I can reroll a single dice. Oh. And that's an eight, which gets it off just. So we're gonna go two and a half with the knight, and he's gonna go over here. We're going to go two and a half with the construct, and he's gonna head over here, like so. Over to you, Wiz. Uh, who's it gonna group activate? So, uh, You've got four guys in range. Who do you want to pick? Uh, actually, I'm going to move the thief. That was probably a good idea. Get him out of there. Yeah, <laughs> Get him out I'm before he gets crossbowed again. I'm going with the thief. I'm going to actually. Not, I'm just gonna use the ones in the front. For yeah, now. so not the archer. Sounds yes. good. All right, so who's moving first? So, uh, Thiefling? uh, the thief is gonna move first. You can just do all his moves right now, it's probably easier than doing them twice. So you can he, go five and a quarter basically when he's five, carrying trigger. So, five and a quarter, yeah. So, and down. you move down for free, so don't worry about any reduction so for moving down the ledge there. He ends up here in cover. Carrying trigger. So he's gonna, he's in melee range. He yeah. wants to go tangle with the knight. He's gonna go, hey, <laughs> get over here, knight. I'm a speed bump from a thief to get away. Oops. You can go tackle the construct if you want. No, can I still attack the knight? You sure can, yeah, if you make yeah. it with so six inches for sure. I'm oh, sorry, five inches rather with him, but you've got room. Yeah, you're fine. Five inches. So I can move to there. And the space. Chronomancer. Mo What's her name? Makono? Makoto. Kono. Makoto Kono. Right, okay. She, she's going to walk this way. She's going to walk down there. Right here. Okay. Fighting first. We're him first. Just All right. Because, uh, I know in melee, if he gets the lower number, he still takes damage too. So you got I'll it. Bank on the the, top the good guy doing it. Okay, with your supporting bonus, we're both plus five. Uh, fight plus five. I got my enchanted weapon, and you're gonna get an eight. Oh, I'm gonna get a twelve, um, which I don't think is gonna bust your thug. Yes. So thug leaves plus four to my four. plus five. I'm gonna get an eighteen. You're I'm gonna get a nineteen and actually win. Yes. Wearing enchanted mail, luckily here, because I was able to afford it in the previous game, <laughs> uh, and that means that I'm only gonna take from that nineteen five damage, which will put me at seven. So seven wins remaining on my knight. The wizard. Yep. So, so what does it cast on? Ten. Okay. You need 10 plus here, and you can cut if you don't get it. Cranks yep. it all can go. Ba bam Peace construct! <laughs> this knight's ours! Shindle maneuver, um, which I believe JP learned from watching Owen do it. He learned it from watching you, Owen! It goes on to apprentices, so Solar is gonna order some dudes to murder. Templar's gonna go. He's gonna go forward five, and just get to right here. The Barbarian's gonna go. She's gonna run up six, and head over to here. Move up. To here. Awesome. Mr. Templar is going to move again, two and a half, and put himself over here. And then the barbarian is going to move three, and she's going to go engage the infantryman right here. I'm going to cast a leap on the Templar. Cast on a 10 plus, 12 plus for my apprentice. It's going to be a 13. Ooh. I'm going to get it. I have lots of room to leap my Templar. Not in base to base, but definitely within an inch of your thief. He's going to go and uh, tackle uh, and Tackle this guy. Him. Get off my thief! He's like, no, he's my friend. All right, so now I can no longer snap oh, two. No. Oh, no. Um, because you are engaging oh, so me. He, he can just jump right over the wall. And oh, remember, you go sideways, too. You're actually closer probably to this edge than you are on board edge. So if you go, if you move five and a quarter, you have to decor on the wall a little bit, but you don't pay for the drop. And as long as the drop isn't three inches, you don't take any damage. That's, yeah, it's You're okay. fine, yeah. So, so you can just jump off that wall. Finish, so it's around five there. and a quarter, be right there. You got it. Because you don't pay for the drop. Drags treasure away. Uh, Crossbowman, save me! <laughs> I was just hard to carry things. <laughs> He's gonna get KG. Move over in here. I can move on him just immediately because so it's one, just easier. He's gonna swing. 
He's good. So all I so good actions now. Yeah, it's right. It's your secondary actions. Okay. You got it. So first and foremost, I'm going to uh, let's swing with this one. Okay, cool. You're an infantryman, so you're plus three with a great weapon. I'm a barbarian, so I'm plus four with my great weapon. Uh, and let's see who gets what. I got a. Uh, ooh, not that. You get a twenty-one. Yeah. To my grand total of sixteen. So twenty-one against a barbarian is going to be. Uh, 10, 11 damage, plus 2 for your great weapon, so 13 damage, so she goes down to 1 point oh. left. So who's going next? Uh, we're going to have uh, Phineas. Phineas, uh, what's he going to do? He's going to cast Push Ooh. onto the combat that's going on. Alright, so you have to randomize who you're going to hit, so on a 1 to 10 you'll hit your own guy, on an 11 plus you'll hit mine. Yep. Uh, you do actually sorry that'd be your casting roll. Even just to see if it goes off. Uh, it goes off then. <laughs> okay, so what yeah. do you need to cast? I needed, uh, so Push is a... No, I didn't. I needed a. Wait, sorry. Four, eight, four. Twelve. Yeah, Twelve. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, twelve normally, yes. and then it's uh, plus two because you're a. Um, uh, what should we call it? A uh, a press. You got exactly what you needed. Yeah. So now you're randomized. So on a yeah. one to ten, it's gonna be you. On a better, it's gonna be me. And you don't really care which it is here, but it's and, gonna be me. Yep. Um, so I'm fight plus five. You get a shoot plus ten, I think, for a push. You're plus ten here mm -hmm. to to resist the push, and the difference basically. Uh, so you get a 23, I get an 18, so I lose. So 23, what I would normally take in damage, I get moved in inches. Um, I'm armor 12 because I have enchanted mail, so I'm going to move 11 inches back. Basically, I get slammed into that tree. <laughs> Should I just move into the tree? Yeah, because I'll stop when I hit an obstruction. Bam! You can just oh, shoot me. There you go. That was a pretty sneaky play. Uh, so getting to shoot, you get shoot plus two. You move those, so I get plus on my defense, so... Um, I'm five six basically. So you get uh, plus two to my plus I six. I don't. I don't get to shoot. Why is that? Because he didn't reload. Oh, that's right. And he yeah. shot last turn. That's right. Yeah. 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 You can. You could spend an action to reload right yeah. now. Though, yeah, I'm gonna reload now. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, so he can. Yeah, he can spend his action to reload, or you can actually move again if you want. If you want to back off. No, no, that way I can't come. You and move and then he reloads, right? You could reload if you wanted to, but you could just move your second action too. If you want to get out of charge range oh, of my temple right. for next idea. turn, you can just back up. So and then you can reload, you know, next turn or whatever. You're shoot. still you're still not loaded, but yeah. So he's gonna move back half. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's safer towards the one wound barbarian than it is towards the angry enchanted weapon <laughs> templar that you just hadouken out of the way. Yeah, so he's gonna move back <laughs> three. You got yeah. it. Yeah. Phase now we're starting my thiefly over here. He's gonna just move his five and a quarter, move moving, because he wants to go home. And five and a quarter will take him to here. Not quite within six of the inch, it's gonna need at least one more activation. Advancing with his archer to here, who'd you like to shoot at? Yeah, plus three, you'll be plus uh, two, basically, because you Move. don't get any penalty for moving fire. Yep. But you give me a bonus, so let's see what we get. 12 is gonna be, yeah, I'm good. So you're 17, I'm, no, actually, I'm 15 here, according to plan. <laughs> so I'm gonna activate my archer, and he's gonna get the hell out of dodge of your murder archer, because he doesn't want to get shot at all. So he has to move four and a half, which will put him, whoops. Which will put him like right here. And go hide behind your wall and my tower. <laughs> or sorry, zombie, he's gonna go four, four. And then you can just go pick it up. So you should wanna probably go around as far as you can to get close yeah, to the edge. So that's it, that's right. Cause you're only moving three inches a turn so after this once four. you pick it up. And then yeah, you can pick it up. Pick it up. So see if the monster shows up and then eats you, cause it could. 16 plus. Yes! yes! Super table to see what it is. And it's going to be. Two, which is a skeleton. Oh. Um, so it'll be one to five, your home edge, and then it goes clockwise. So it's going to show five. up on, yep. Uh, it could be nine, so it's going to show up six inches over here, so right in the middle of the table. I'm going to measure 24 inches to see if that's right. So encounter. All right, so uh, that's your last soldier. I think that's my... Oh, no, wait. I got treasure hunter. Yes, you something. do. Oh, treasure hunter, where do you want to go? I'm pretty sure that these two treasures are a lost cause, but I'm also pretty sure that my barbarian's going to die. So we're going to go seven. <laughs> Up to here. Uh, first one, and then we're gonna move again, and our second move is going to be three and a half, which will put us over here. Right? He's gonna go towards the closest thing he can see. I don't actually think he can see your apprentice, so it's gonna be whether or not your thief or my apprentice is close. Uh, sorry, nine to the thief or eight and a quarter to my apprentice, so it's gonna be apprentice time. Uh, I believe he goes six. six and then three, so he's just gonna go engage her. So we won't fight her this round, but she's definitely jammed three. up. Three, we won't test for this wall until next turn because it just came down. Uh, we will now roll furnish to see who's going first. Eight to 13. 13. It's all chronomancing time. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think she's got any friends within three anymore. So go hang over here. So that she can see the spot right next to my yeah. dude, and she's gonna cast teleport. 
Teleportation! Bam! Yes. Just cranks it. So it can't be put in base to base and doesn't end your activation, but it is a successful cast, and you can be right within an inch of me. So where would you like to be? Right. You could be as far towards the edge as possible with an inch. That look good? Ye yeah. Okay. But he's just going to pick up the treasure and see if a monster gets generated. <laughs> and... Nope. No. But he's got a treasure now. And then he's going to move, and... I really want to get somewhere where I can do some stealing of your treasure too. Dark. And your wizard. But my gloves are... Oh wait, I can't do that. I have to move. I only get one action that's not a thing action. So I'm going to move six inches towards you. Head over here. Treasure. I only move three. You get to go first. What uh, you doing there, uh, Mr. Man? So he's going to move. Actually, he's just going to move a bit. Okay. He's just going to end up a little bit over here. That's good. That's what yes. Yes. And now he's going to shoot. All right, so shooting the Templar. Templar's plus five because of his magic axe. Uh, you're plus two. Yep. I get a 19. No. Put up a wall. <laughs> okay, put up a wall. Where's it going? Uh, so the wall's going to go like right here. Right there. Sinus. That's, <laughs> nice. That's no, good. Wow. Two. Going to wow. fail by more than 11, so you take two damage. Two damage. Solara's going to activate. She is all alone in the world. <laughs> um, so she's going to start stabbing this skeleton. Uh, regular skeletons only fight plus one, so you can roll for it. I'm mm. fight plus three because I'm a fairly leveled up apprentice. She's 20, More. and has one hit point, and explodes! Please. Moving, um, and she's gonna go stand next to your apprentice and be like, what's up, buddy? So she can't get into base to base, but she can get within an inch from you. Oh, we're gonna next. have an apprentice battle. Battle the apprentices. Yes, sir. He's gonna run. That sounds like a great idea. You just need to move once you're off the table. Uh, Bam, it's yours. Oh, my play to get it was foiled by your clever push. Time for the knight to go ham. He's gonna stab this punk. <laughs> Take it, Fugly. You're getting punched. Um, plus five, five you're plus two. three, uh, two, three, four, because you get the number of oh, ones. Yeah. I get a nine, mm. you get a 19. Uh, that's not good. I'm going to take five more damage and be down to two, and now I'm wounded for magic mail. <laughs> Are you the man at arms? Man he's arms. fight plus five right now, and he's going to crank me. I'm only fight plus two, or fight plus three because I'm injured. Uh, I get a seven, you get a five, nine, goes to 14. 14, not enough to crack my He's arms. plus two, uh, plus four because they get numbering. I'm plus four. Not oh, crit 20 to okay. 24, minus my armor of 14, 10 doubled as I take 20 damage. I die 10 times, because <laughs> I only had two left. She needed to activate a soldier in between that, oh, so I'm yes. going to activate my thief and just yep. walk him off the board. And now it goes back to me my turn again. Yes. Um, so we're going to activate this fella, okay. and he's not going to move. He's going to shoot you with his bow and arrows, though, because I'm encumbered, so I'm only shoot plus one. Uh, you're fight plus two, because you're a whiz. Yes. So let's see what gets. Oh, so you win by one. Just <laughs> did it. You almost had her. Uh, and then he's not going to move to force you to waste an action getting into base space with me. You got the board. Yeah. It's uh, three, eight. three eight within six of the edge, so you're fine. So three eight would be Yeah, move, move is three yeah. inches because you go two and then yeah. one. Seven with the treasure hunter to here. And then we're going to go another three and a half. So three and a half will get us halfway up to there. So like right there. And that's that. And I really need to go first because this thief's gonna get away. Go with uh, your archer, and he's just gonna shoot my treasure and try and protect the thief. You get plus two. I'm plus five right now because I'm a enchanted weapon. Oh, I got a twenty-five. Now, if you want, you can just drop down and engage me with him, and keep it so that I can't move next turn. He's just gonna jump down for free and then just go engage me. And he's gonna go five, ending up right here, and then he's gonna go two and a half and not quite get into rescue range because you hadoukened him so far out of the way. Mr. Infantryman is going to try and hit my Barbarian. I'm at minus two right now because I'm wounded. Uh, uh, so I get plus two total. You get plus three. Yep. Oh, man. Uh -huh. So you get plus three to a 12. I get a six. Uh, 12 is enough to kill me. I only have one hit point left. Nope. Uh, he has no way to do anything other than try and rescue people. So he's going to go five to here. And then he's going to move two and a half and get within group activate range of his boss. I should put him right here. And hopefully be able to rescue the arch. Persists on a 17 plus, it goes away. Nope, it stays. And we are on turn four initiative. Pretty bad. 19, bad, going first. And group activates. So we're going to move three over to here because we're carrying treasure and we're slow. I'm going to move five with the construct. And he's going to end up right here. Like so. Um, and then I'm going to poison dart your wizard. Dart. Goes off with a plus five to cast. You don't have to roll yet. Uh, now it's a shooting attack. It is a shoot plus five. There's one figure in the way, so you're gonna get plus one to your fight, so plus three. And if I hit you, you're gonna one action. Uh, you get 15, I get a total of 10, so I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna move two and a half. We're not gonna quite make it to you, but we're gonna stand in between you and him. Your wizard's turn. 
If you don't want to fight the construct or have them snap to you, you need to do not move. With the whiz, you get 12? Uh, yes. Yeah, it's got 17. So it's shoot plus 10. I'm fight plus, I think, one or two. I'm, that's not going to matter for Oh, it might matter. Oh, it might matter 14. Now. Let's see what so, my uh, Yeah, you got your second action, but you probably don't want to move because I'm just going to snap to you. Yep. I'm, uh, Solar's kind of numbered right now and has no way to get help but we're just gonna hope that this goes well and we're gonna move in and stab you to death yeah. with our stabbing sword Wait, zero hey -ya! Oh. oh i won but do yeah. this and it looks like your cross was probably also within three sure is so yep. you get to go two so uh is he gonna go in and support you might as well because now he's fight plus four if he attacks me yeah. and then your apprentice could do something afterwards if he kills me so fight plus four to my fight plus three I get an 18, mm. you get a 15, so I'm gonna hit ya. Uh, armor on a crossbow, I believe they were leather, so to stab me, you have a staff, I assume? Yes. So you're minus one damage, but you're minus damage if you get hit as well. Um, and that means I am fight, I'm fighting you with a supporter, so you're fight plus two and I'm fight plus three. 13, nine, no. so I hit you, um, but it's only gonna be for three damage and it's minus one because of the staff. This is over, it's on to soldier phase. Yeah, I'm going first with this treasure hunter. He's going to try and carve himself up some archer. <laughs> this guy forgot to activate last turn, so he should be further off than he is. He moves five and a quarter. Yeah, that's going to be important. That. Yeah, that's going to be important in case I kill this bowman. If I can kill this guy in one go, i got a chance of catching this thief. So I'm fight plus five right now. And I am a fight plus two. Okay, let's see if I get it. 16? Oh, and I take six damage and I go down to six because I have enchanted mail armor. You want to just get thiefly out of there? <laughs> yeah. Peace! <laughs> Three treasures to yours. All right, infantryman's gonna go, and he's gonna climb up here to go stab my poor Solar. My fight plus three. I need a high number here. Eleven oh. to twelve. <laughs> uh, so you hit me uh, for two damage, four because you have a great weapon, Solara, and it's over to me. I'm gonna activate my tempest with your beating on uh, Solara. He's gonna come over here and show you how to wield a great weapon properly. <laughs> Down. Uh, so I am. I'm gonna swing on your infantry. Actually, I'll swing on your crossbowman. Okay. So you're fight plus two, you have no supporter. I'm fight plus five. I got a 12. You crit 20 and kill me. I'm gonna try and fight my crossbow, my, my treasure hunter rather. I'm fight plus five. Fight. Two. Uh, 21. Goodness, no. I think that's probably gonna kill that's you. Dead. That's 11 damage, <laughs> so I just chop your head off. He's just gonna stand still and shoot you. He's encumbered, so he's only shoot plus one. Plus one, uh, you have one figure in the way, so you're going to be plus three to your wizard. So plus three to plus one. I get a 11. It's not going to do anything. You get a one. One. I still beat you. Uh, your armor 10, so you take one damage. And uh, the gonna man at arms. Gonna he can go six and hang it over here, the thug. And, and then he can go five. Yeah, so he'll be an inch behind. That's, but he'll be, he can't go through there, can no, he? No, yeah, it's too small a gap. You have to be at least an inch in gap to go through. Give me if he wants. And come reinforce the boss. Do it there. Up right here, yep. And then he will move. He'll go two and a half, yeah. So just be in behind. Table's no creature phase. Turn five. Rolling for initiative. I'm kind of in trouble now. 12, 13, 13. you're going first. Mm. Uh, you got no one supporting you, but you could go murder some dudes. Come run over here. Yeah. Uh, I pile in because you're with an inch. Five yeah. plus two, so I get a 16. You no. get a seven, so 16, you're going to take six damage. Cool. Eight. He's going to group activate with the uh, archer. He's going to move three, which will just get to you. Uh, no one else is going to move because they're already in melee. And then he's going to try and murder you right now to your plus two with his supporting stuff. Which gives him a 28 to no, your three. three. So you're going to take 18 damage and explode! <laughs> and that gives me a wizard. And with his whiz down, uh, as soon as he's uh, eligible to activate a model, and that's going to be his apprentice, he is going to choose to automatically bottle, and that'll take him off the table. Um, and we will go to the end phase. My barbarian on a 9 plus is fine. Nope, dead. So I have to hire a new one of those. Uh, my knight on a 9 plus, fine. Um, my templar on a 9 plus, even though he got crit 20 He's six, he's gonna be injured, which means we have to fire and rehire him. And my crossbow on a nine plus, he's fine too. Important one first or the not important one uh, first? The not so important one first. Okay, so on a nine plus, your archer's fine. Goodbye! Dead. He's super dead. And then the whiz on a one or a two, she dies. 
On a nine plus, she's fine. Oh, five. That's going to be yep. to either pay 100 crowns to come into the next game or miss the next game. Most people will just find the 100 crowns. I'm sure it won't be a problem when you experience. 150 from this and 60 from all the spells you cast. You're going to gain two levels. You become level two immediately. You're not level one. You start at level zero. Sorry. That's right. You go to level two. That's okay. And you're going to have 10 in the bank. So keep that 10 experience in the bank because you spend your 100, 100 per level immediately to level okay. up. Now you can choose two, and this is my recommendation. Up all of your stats, basically, except for armor, which can't be increased, um, by up to one per level. And you can only you can't dump them all in, so you have to go uh, once per between games. So you couldn't do like two into fight. You have to do one into fight and one into something else. And you can also increase or decrease the casting value of each spell once per game. Play. This is out. His wizard's going to go plus three fight, which will also increase the um, apprentice to plus one fight, and then an extra health, which will increase the apprentice health. Cast. Uh, I'm going to get six. I've got your wizard kill, plus I've got the, um, which is 210, plus I've got the uh, uh, three treasures, which puts me at 460, mm -hmm. sorry, yeah, f no, 360. I have 20 experience in the bank, plus 20 for my laboratory, which puts me exactly at 400. So I'm gonna go to level 15, which will boost my apprentice as well. Uh, and then I'm gonna decrease teleport, leap, and uh, what's the last one? Crater. Um, so I'll do my three first. I'm gonna get a seven, 16, and 13. So that's two grimoires and two scrolls. Let's see what kind of grimoires I got. So watch us do the scrolls first. A uh, high will be green. That's gonna be five and eight. So that's uh, strength from the first one for a scroll. Second scroll is two and nine. So strength and awareness. I'm going to be eight and eight. So that's going to be telekinesis and then the second one is 2 and 19 comet awareness. The thing is I'm going to try and write a grimoire that I can sell uh, and that's going to be on a 13 plus I do and then my apprentice on a 15 plus I do so I get an extra 500 gold from writing two grimoires. Comet awareness which is a 16 plus because it is neutral. So now your three treasures JP is going to get 8, 13, and 5 gold, two potions, a grimoire, and a magic weapon slash armor. So we'll do the po or the sorry, the potions first. Yeah, so 2d20. That's going to be a 4 and a 12, which is a potion of healing. Potion of healing. And a potion of invisibility. So you roll two, check, pick which one's the highest. So uh, the blue is the, the blue highest. Is the highest. Okay. Grimoire is going to be 12, 2. So 12 and 2 will be animal companion. So you can now summon a bear. Oh, nice. Yeah, 1d20. And that will be an eight, which gives you a bow of plus two damage, which Ooh. you can give to your bow. Yeah. Now you can uh, do some shopping if you want real fast, and I will do some shopping, and I'll tell you where we end up. Here we are at the end of it all. I fired and rehired my Templar so I can get a new one. I also bought him a magic plus one fight great weapon, and then I hired a new Barbarian because mine died. Uh, I've got my Thief, I've got my Knight, uh, my Treasure Hunter, he's over here, still in the Warbands. Um, and I've got um, my construct and my two shooters, and that's pretty much it. That's all I've done. I've got 210 in the bank. I learned uh, combat awareness. That's a pretty cool spell, and that's it. I'm done. Bow, um, and that afforded him the ability to rehire his archer and then hire a Templar to join his warband. So now he's got a full complement of eight guys. He also moved into a brewery, thematically appropriate for his uh, Chronomancer, uh, and that is the state of his warband. Is now level two. All right, so you have it, a tie game. Uh, a level 11 wizard against a level zero wizard. That's, I like this game, because you can do that. You can have a tie game and it can go pretty like evenly, even with like 10 levels difference. Um, where uh, we both got three treasure. You leveled up to level two, which was awesome. You got some new guys in your warband, some new magic items and stuff, and you'll be able to go back and play your first game with your buddy Chad. Yes. You excited for that? He's coming for you, Chad. This is happening. This will be like way in the past now when you actually watch this, but it's going to be exciting. He's excited to play. Um, so thanks again for watching. We'll see you for more Frostgrave. If you do want to play Frostgrave, you can email me at girlminiaturegames.gmail.com or go through my Facebook page, facebook.com uh, slash out of the basement into the streets, and we can set up a game. So we'll see you in the future. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ash. Have a great day.